Hey there guys, here's Miss Bell again talking about safety in the science lab. And I'm gonna touch base on um, a few things. One is a reminder of when we need to wear our safety goggles. Now, right now, I have a burner going on and you are able to adjust the heat with this knob right here and it sends heat through the electrical cord up and this beaker sitting on top is made out of glass. Um, we have one video about what happens if glass breaks in the science lab and this video we're going to talk about safety with hot or heated items. Now hopefully we are all aware that when we contact get in contact with something touch something that's hot it's going to hurt our hands possibly burn our hands we might get blisters or some sort of mark on our hands and we don't want that again safety in the lab so if we're having to ever use a burner like this we do not want to touch it at all um, if anything does need to be adjusted that should be done by an adult your teacher or myself. We do have certain tools that we can use to adjust items that are very, very hot. Um, with this, because I'm so close, it would be best for me to protect my eyes. Again, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Is the glass going to break? Are the fumes going to get in my, my um, face or up my nose? Um, is something going to pop or explode? I don't know. So therefore, I want to do what's best for me in protecting my body. Now, so that is not touching something that's hot. Another thing I want to stress is that if or when it comes up where we have to um, or we need to smell something, we do not place our noses directly in the way. That can be very dangerous for our nose and our nostrils if any um, sort of harmful fume gets in our nose. Instead, if you can see the steam that's coming from this water, again, it's just water, it's not harmful if I in inhale or smell the um, water vapor, but what we do is it's called wafting. So I'm gonna take my hand and I'm gonna bring the smell to me. I'm not gonna take my body to the smell. Instead, I'm gonna stay away and I'm gonna bring that smell to me and then I can smell. So therefore, if a smell happens to be extremely harmful, um, I don't wanna put myself directly in harm's way. Bring it to me and then I can smell if um, what it is, what it smells like. So that's the second thing. So we talked about not touching hot things and we talked about wafting or bringing a smell toward us. Another thing I wanted to talk about was having your hair tied back. Let's say I'm working on my lab report and I am getting close, which I shouldn't, but I'm observing. And let's say I have long hair. My hair could come in contact with whatever we might be working on. Maybe we're um, using chemicals, certain sort of, you know, bases or acids i don't want to damage my hair or get anything on my hair so again i'm going to get my hair tie i'm going to tie it up it's not perfect but that's okay and therefore when i need to lean over my hair is not in the way and it's not going to get damaged so again we do not touch hot items we do not smell directly, we waft the smell towards us, and we need to tie our hair up. Um, especially when you get to the junior high and high school science labs. There you're gonna be working with open flames. We don't do that in elementary, but you'll be working with open flames, and we don't want um, your hair to get 
burned or damaged or any sort of substance on your hair. Safety first.